and welcome to your market update and charts of today for Monday the 10th of July as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session today. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Gold Markets to lead you around what's happening right now. Of course, on Friday we saw strong start to the session after that non-farm payrolls data, uh, but markets drifted downwards to end up slightly in the red with the exception of the Russell 2000. Interestingly, advances were twice the number of decliners, which suggests that there is still buying pressure coming. Big tech were a bit weak. US earnings season starts at the end of the week with big banks kicking things off. And of course, things ramping up next week. That's going to be really important. Expectations are low, which suggests that there is potential once again for surprises to the upside. US futures are slightly lower in the Asian session. They were doing better earlier on, but pulled down a little bit after Chinese PPI and CPI data came in soft playing into the narrative of a weak Chinese economy at this stage. Asian markets are, are up in today's trading so far, with the exception of the Nikkei. ASX is now trading near neutral with materials and energy sectors outperforming, again, drifting back from a positive start. European futures pointing to a cautious open, and the VIX has paused after a choppy and strong week last week on the back of all the jobs struck Fed narrative. US dollar index moved down after that non-farm payrolls report. It is slightly higher in Asia due to yen weakness. Gold is trading around the key 1925 level. Copper's pausing and all breached the top of the range on Friday, though it's slightly lower in Asia so far today. Bitcoin was weak last week and it is testing support today at 30,000 once again. It is very stuck in between 30 and 31 at this stage, so a move either side of those two key levels could be technically important. We've already referenced the lower than expected inflation data coming out of China. Janet Yellen, the US Treasury Secretary, is also in Beijing. Positive words coming across the wires relating to that visit. Little else of note today. And obviously the US CPI on Wednesday is the week's data highlight. A couple of charts that caught our eye. We've referenced the US yen daily and you can see here we're bouncing off a key level on the daily chart around about this 141.94 level. If we look at today's price action, uh, you can see a significant move up during the Asian session. This is what's holding the US dollar index up. Really, we're looking at a level of around about 142.95. Let's call it 143 for a potential breach. And a move up may be around about 30 to 40 pips, possibly up to this 143.40 level. That's certainly one of the outperformers today, uh, worth keeping an eye on. But at this stage, it looks pretty flat, uh, but worth keeping an eye on if we do breach uh, 143. On the ASX, Ardent Leisure Group uh, had a really big pop to the upside. This has been a stock in major downtrend since February. And you can see that response to an update uh, today on company performance, you can see it's moved back up to 50 and would suggest this 51 level is possibly worth keeping on. Plenty of upside in this. Uh, these guys are, are in the education space. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.